The statutory rape has become so widespread oh. in Virginia, well, you know, underage rape, that the state has launched an ad campaign to try and keep old guys away from young girls. He's one of these boys. Isn't she a little young? It says, isn't she a little young? Sex with a minor. Don't go there. What do you think about this? Keith, I know you have some very strong opinions on this. I do have very strong opinions. I think if the, you have a, like a 16-year-old girl with 32-year-old titties, you should be able to go and do what you need to do. Okay. Oh. Oh. And everybody, every man in there, don't tell the truth. Oh. Bring that bucket, bring the bucket down! Wait a minute. You know what, I shouldn't have to be this <laughs> vociferous for me to do a bucket, I'm gonna get no, a heart wait attack. Wait a minute. Hey, 20, who has even though I know you're being ironic, pay 20 That's... in if you get in the audience going wasting time. Stupid. I just said boom. I know, Wasting Shut time, up. he owes 150. <laughs> <laughs> just pay up. Listen to this. We all know that what Keith is saying, you know, if a man can't speak honestly on the show, what's the whole point? Yeah. There is a certain... A dollar, you chisel, look at me, 20. <laughs> There is a certain, Lori, as a woman, right. what do you think? A men's supposed to Lori, check Lori, as a 47-year-old woman, what do you think? <laughs> Everyone's 47. <laughs> 47 today. You, you better watch it. Her Mexican boyfriend will cut you yeah. good. <laughs> Lori's a statutory boyfriend, 16. Yeah, he is. He's a 16-year-old Mexican. She, he's, he's not kidding. 18 tomorrow. All right, go ahead. I, I think also, what about these 13 and 14-year-old girls who are attracted to older men? That's a problem. Maybe we should be teaching 13-year-old boys how to perform conolingus. Can we, can we ask... Hey, can we ask the audience a question? Yes, you can ask the audience a question. Why they boom? We just want them to take a survey. How many, how many uh, women here waited today was the, the legal age, which is what, 17 we're saying? 18. 18? Uh, How many women waited today was 18 to start having sex? 14. How many women in the audience, by, by hands, waited today was 18 to start having sex? Jesus. Three. And the rest of y'all are hoes. Do, do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? It's not. It's not that you you pedophiles. It's like when you drive and you see those girls in the in the port. When I, I live in Jersey City. And if I get off in them high school girls with the, nice with the, teenage ass it's in the city. big titties Dude. and big ass, it's, it's not like I'm a predator, but when I'm driving, I go, God damn! But, well, that just I, I'm not a pedophile, I just go, what, and look they, at that ass, I'm looking for help from God. God, <laughs> stop this! But that's why every, that's not every guy wants to have sex with teenage girls. Shh, if that's, you say that's, it again, that's, say it again, that's, I'll punch you right in right, your face. Let him finish, finish his point. Let okay, go ahead. Wait. Go ahead. Can you see me coming to Keith? His glasses are bugging me now. <laughs> All right, absolutely. Go ahead, Mark. Go ahead. Why were you interrupting me? I'm Two people with glasses you, is too much. You get ready to be sarcastic. <laughs> no, all I was no, going to say not. is he, every he, guy wants to, all guys want sex with teenage girls. That's why there's a law. What, do you think they pulled 18 out of a hat? <laughs> well, here's the question. If there wasn't law, here's the question of the year. Law keeps us all from going, 18 is the law, so okay. Hey, no, I don't go on 18. If there was no law, it was caveman days, Viking days, what age would you? You know what age I would do. What age would you stop? Honestly, oh, what age okay, would that's you a good stop? Question. What age would morally say question. this ain't right? Wait, you, you, if it's caveman days, you're saying what age would smell what, what, funny? No. <laughs> Let's be honest. Be, I want everyone through. to give a number. That's a good question. <clears throat> you start. This is your question. I'll go next. You answer. So, uh, morally, I would stop if she was built like a woman. But uh, you get you get built. He's like just trying to make himself feel better. That guy. If you're built like a, if you're built like a woman, I, I'll say 16 years old. I'll say 16. Go ahead. 15. 15. Uh, 16, but maybe an addendum like if there's there's just braces and dangerous machinery like that, you know. <laughs> You guys, are, you guys are rapists. Shut the f shut up, Lori. You're, you're rapists. Oh, we're not Jesus. rapists. That's, no, that's wait, wrong. That's you were totally <laughs> rapists. <laughs> he was saying, I, was I saying, stand corrected. But he was making a hypothetical. If there was no law, if, if, we it just, if it just was, if it was, if no it was your own deal with, with your morality, where would you stop? Your morality is that you're a statutory rapist. You're we going after someone who has a mental capacity to take it all in. Lori, stop taking that out of context. She knows. She knows. She knows. Lori, what about the 40-year-old guy when you were 16? And I regret it. Lori, what about the 40-year-old guy when you were 16? And I regret it. I was just accusing her. I don't really know. Why did you run this show? This is a big subject to you. Well, this is a very big subject to me. Lori, what about the 40-year-old guy when you were 16? And I regret it. I was just accusing her. I don't really know. Why did you run this show? This is a big subject to me. Because, you know what, man? Here's the thing, folks. Now, Patrice, you, you, now, Lori, now, you've been big for a long time, right? Wait a minute. How is that? How are you no, I'm 
you're saying you've been a tall me. girl, you've been a big girl for a long time, so older men probably are attracted to you. Right. Am I right? Yeah, older men have been attracted to me when, when I was when, very young. Because you was young, yes, yeah. but you've been big. So what yes. I'm saying is, what a, you, I guarantee you lost your virginity to an older man. I did not. <laughs> Okay, that ends up. Lori! <laughs> you know what? We'll be right back with more show. Oh, all right. We're out of here. What creature, what creature would you create that's half one thing, half another? Keith. Well, I would create a half pit bull, half alligator. His job would be to eat anyone that ever annoyed me. Asian drivers, nothing personal, but you have to go. <laughs> Any black person that really believes OJ is innocent, see ya. Strippers with fat guts and stretch marks, goodbye. And finally, anyone who TVOs a TV show, yes, there, you would go. Okay. Lori. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, my, uh, my block in West Harlem is teeming with teenage mothers and their fatherless babies. So I like to invent a creature who's half adorable puppy and half Dominican drug dealer. He's called... <laughs> He's called Lil Pepito. <laughs> and instead of skipping town after getting a girl pregnant, Lil Pepito gets captured, neutered, microchipped, and returned to his baby mama. All right. <laughs> Pat <laughs> Patrice O'Neill. Mine is a mix between a cow and a kitten. It's called low car pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure what the point of this exercise is, but I found out if you combine Patrice O'Neill with just about anything, it's still pretty much Patrice O'Neill, right? Here's my example. Maybe I'm wrong, but all right, how about picture of half Patrice, half walrus? Hilarious, but still Patrice, only with tusks, all right? How about a half Patrice, half screaming two-year-old in loaded diapers? See, even pre-verbal, no real difference. <laughs> Then there's the half Patrice, half Cadillac Escalade. See, not so far from reality. Even down to the bling bling on the grill sometimes. Oh my God, that's the show. Good night. Uh, just a couple questions, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, kind of a crazy, rowdy show tonight. What was going on? Woo, I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe it's a full moon. <laughs> the hell do you mean? I mean, when you, when you, uh, at a certain point tonight, you were lying down on the bench with a towel over your yes. eyes. What was going on in your mind? Well, I was just listening to the show. Saturday Night Live.